it's October and this month the entire issue is dedicated to uh, cosmetic medicine. Why do we dedicate an entire issue to cosmetic medicine? The answer is in my editorial in the same issue. The first paper deals with the movement of the tip of the uh, needle during injection. There's an excellent commentary by Dr. Bilur Seguin from uh, Turkey. The authors looked at aspiration and injecting maneuvers and the micro movement of the tip so that it's clear now that we don't have complete control of the tip of the needle. The second looks at upper facial anastomosis between the internal and external uh, systems, an international contribution from China with a discussion by Sebastian, Dr. Sebastian Catafona, again looking at these interconnections which sheds light on some of the problems we have seen with uh, embolism. The next is the efficacy of microneedling device from uh, UT Southwestern and a discussion by Dr. Des Fernandez from South Africa looking at the effectiveness of those treatments on the, uh, on the neck. The next selection is the concept of the ideal Caucasian male lips. We spent a lot of time discussing the female facial features, but this one from Poland looks at the male lip and there's an excellent commentary by Dr. Val Lambros. So that's it for this special issue highlighting the importance of cosmetic medicine and injectables in the practice of aesthetic surgery and cosmetic medicine. I'll be back with you in November.